Welcome to the KMT Line Model Railroad. It is June 27th, 2021, and this is update number 21. Before we head for the workbench, there's something I wanted to share. I don't do a lot of rail fanning, but uh, when I do see something odd, I like to capture it and uh, try and share it. It's been a while since I've seen something odd. So this is what I spotted on the rails earlier this month. So earlier this month, my wife and I were uh, driving on Highway 58 outside of Barstow, heading west. And we came across this uh, BNSF train. Yeah, it looked like it was about 50 cars. Um, they were all looked like covered hoppers. And um, when we came up on it, there were uh, two BNSF locomotives at the end. And three locomotives in the middle. And then three locomotives at the very beginning of the train, the, end, the front end of the train. Now the three engines in the middle... Um, one of them caught my eye. It was this Ferromex locomotive. And uh, I thought it was odd enough that I had my wife grab my phone and take this picture. Now, I've never seen a Ferromex locomotive in person. And I thought it was kind of cool. I've seen other locomotives mixed in with uh, BNSF uh, trains, but never a Ferromex. So I thought this was kind of interesting, and I thought I'd share it with you. Okay, so let's move on to the workbench. Okay, so what I've got here is the uh, basic structure of the welding shed that I've been working on for the last few weeks. Uh, in scale, the uh, structure is 12 feet tall, 28 feet wide, and 19 feet deep. I based this size on uh, some of the areas, places I worked at when I was working as a uh, welder and a machinist. And this is basically the same kind of area that we worked in before. Uh, the uh, base structure. The structure is made from 6x6 six six posts and 3x6 six slats. Okay, after the structure was completed, I then uh, started working on the roof. This again is uh, corrugated aluminum and I cut it into strips of uh, 4 foot wide, 8 feet long. Gave them a base coat color of the uh, Tamiya XF1 flat black and the XF2 flat white creating several different shades of gray. Once the uh, sheets were glued in place, all the little sheets were glued in place and the glue dried, I then hit it, the roof with a little bit of uh, acrylic paints to do a wash. And I used a, a neutral gray and a graphite to keep with the uh, gray color scheme. The uh, welding curtain was then added. This had to be added before the uh, side panels because the uh, wire holding the curtain up is behind the panels. So this step needed to be done first, then the side panels could be added. Once the side panels were added, the entire structure was given a very light coat of uh, dull coat. And then I went on to doing the weathering. Now the weathering was done with several different materials. The black streaking up on the roof was done with the Tamiya XF1 flat black. Some of the uh, rust streaks in that area were done with uh, an acrylic paint. I used uh, burnt sienna to do that. And then I finished it off with use, using um, different colored chalks. I used uh, gray chalk, a yellow, a brown, a little bit of white, and then what I call a rust color. And once I was happy with the uh, way the weathering looked, I gave it a final light coat of dull coat spray. So once it was all done, I placed the uh, welding shed on the on the layout at Waterman Junction. And I also placed uh, the little guy I'm calling the uh, supply shop foreman, just to give a little perspective. And uh, there are two things. Um, one, it, I'm not sure that 12 feet high was, was right. I may have, may, maybe I should have made it a little shorter. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll keep looking at it. And two, uh, I think the shop foreman is wondering where the welders are and where's all the welding equipment. <laughs> it seems to be gone. Anyway, I don't have any of the detail parts right now, but uh, I will be ordering them as soon as I can. But right now, I don't think it really needs to be detailed out until I get uh, the rest of the structures and everything else built in this area. So that's it. That's the structure. That's how it looks. Well, I guess that'll be it for this update. Thank you very much for watching, for those that are still watching. Thank you very much for all your comments. I do really appreciate the comments, and I really do appreciate those people that have been subscribing. 
I'm not looking for subscribers, but I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.